I think we're really at an interesting moment in history where technology and art are uh, intersecting in a way where we don't really know what the future implications are. I really feel like we're at this turning point. Hikari in Japanese means light. I love my name and I hope that I can, you know, shine some light wherever I go. <laughs> I've been walking a lot in this park and you notice things that you otherwise wouldn't notice because you're too busy or so on your phone. Seeing, you know, the little buds come out of the trees and then the leaves and then the leaves fall, I feel like much more connected to the seasons changing. When I'm stuck between two choices, I probably will just delay and let it kind of come to a head to the point where I just like have to make a decision and I just go for it and take a leap of faith. So it's kind of between being very cautious and then suddenly really impulsive. Regret is difficult because it's quite a slippery slope. If you start thinking about your life in terms of regrets, you can have so many regrets, like, I should have done this, why didn't I do that? Oh, I can't believe I did that. But in the reality, I think that every mistake that you make and all the kind of wrong choices that you do in life are for a reason. Hopefully you learn from them and that gets you to the next stage and that those kind of, you know, stumbles or difficulties are what makes you who you are. So yeah, no regrets. Femininity now is kind of a problematic term. Traditionally, it means things like, you know, being graceful or vulnerable or emotional or soft or delicate. And I just don't really think that one gender or another should have those qualities. So I think it's not really a useful term right now. I prefer to uh, refer to like specific qualities. And I think that, you know, men should have qualities that would typically be called feminine and vice versa. So, and I don't really believe in the kind of binary of gender and these kind of gendered roles. Especially moving from New York to London, these two cities are so similar, but there are so many slight differences in the way that people behave and social life and the way things are done. It's quite funny now when I go back to the States, people say, oh, you've become so British now, I can't believe it.